Hey everyone. So I want to do a quick home garden video for you. We have the garden out at the plot that we rent, but we also have a little bit of the garden also at our home in our backyard. So I want to just go over with you today and show you everything that's going on. Don't mind the AC kicking in. All right, for, so forgive me. It's a mess, it's an absolute disaster because I've been more time at the plot than I have in my own home garden. So this is just covered in weeds. And you can see that this bed right here, it's supposed to be sweet majorum, and there is for the most part. Just pick through it, it'll be fine. This bed right here has a ton of time in it. Lots of time, it's starting to go to flower. End of the season, pretty warm out. Next bed, sage. The sage has done really well this year and has actually choked out the weeds for the most part. Then right here, basil. Basil's done pretty well given the heat. And the very back there, tarragon the tarragon has done well i didn't think it was gonna do anything at all this year but then it ended up being probably our best growers the only problem is with our zone 3b we're not able to have tarragon rosemary thyme things like that are perennials in other areas over winter so a lot of the time they come out going to pots into the house next up we have our dill that's to be going out this week right beside it parsley parsley i love because it does hold up to those cold temperatures especially in the wind, in the fall when we get a bit of a light freeze, holds up real well. This next area over here is an experimental. I had an extra squash and I wasn't sure if it was a squash or a zucchini or a patty pan. And it turned out to be a butternut squash. You can see right here. It's got a little fruit on it and it's going to take over the garden soon enough. But right beside it, I have eggplants. First time growing eggplants ever. So this is the long Asian variety. You can see right here, it's got a couple of fruits coming on. I think this is the best one right there. I've never really grown eggplants before, bringing it kind of a year. So I, I did a couple things this year that I completely won. I really wanted to see how they turned out on this eggplant. And for the most part, it's done really well this year because it has had that heat and the humidity has been low. So the disease, from what I understand, this humidity, more heat thriving right beside those eggplants you can see we have a hungary pot in here and i put a little bit of sprinkling in there and then i put also in the next garden over there which is the jungle the jungle is out of control so last year i didn't do a csa at all and this was just my beds for cucumbers sun gold tomatoes juliettes beef steaks and peppers and clearly i have dropped tomato seeds all throughout here and they all came up voluntarily i don't know if you can see the beds now but this is where my garlic was this spring it's come out and then the tomatoes have taken over completely you can see it's absolute chaos in here but there are fruit growing i don't know what i'm going to get before the frost usually our first frost date is about september 10th and today is september 2nd so We'll see. The forecast is showing that we won't have frost for a while, so we might be able to hold off and get a couple of tomatoes off here. All right, so right beside these tomatoes, you can see I have more Hungarian hots in here. Hungarian hots were an experiment for me this year. I wasn't sure what I was going to do. I think I'm just going to end up taking them and pickling all of them. All right, so it's the centerpiece of any good garden. There's a compost bin. This compost was filled, filled up twice already and turned twice. And it's already gone down by half so this is a great compaction lots of little red wigglers in there Let's see if i open it up you can see all those worms in there right there and no compost complete without a bunch of volunteer plants growing out of it hey eh? right here not because it's part of like the garden but it also goes into the garden are my rain barrels and those are hooked up to the garage that is up here. So two big 20 gallon rain barrels that'll feed the yard and the garden itself here. Have all raspberries, trying to contain the raspberries to their own little spot. Totally control and my backyard is a direct result of it. Just, it's completely insane. Flower right there. So this is our driveway 
and it also doubles up as where we have compost mulch sitting right there and pile and then right here is our wash sink and our drying and packing table and down below this potting mix for our microgreens these pails here where i'll dump all the water into from out of the sink and that will go onto the lawn and also onto the veggies no water is wasted here so everything is used and that is my backyard garden love it enjoy that go ahead and click on these other videos over here and i hope you enjoyed the video have a great day see you in the next one bye